So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Way of the Hunter video. Now you guys will have already seen the title and the thumbnail and everything. I have had a pretty crazy couple of days, well one day really where this all took place. So just starting off with a couple of clips to remind you guys of this incredible mule deer herd that I found in my last video which had a 5 star and 2 4 star matures in this herd. And I said that I thought that maybe the two four stars might get big enough to become five stars. Well, I have basically been keeping a very close eye on this herd and basically scouting out more of this area in general, just looking for more deer. Now, this was the shot that I took at the first five star that I found in this location. And we'll take a quick look at him just to, like I said, just to remind you guys of this incredible experience that I had in the last video. It was a really awesome buck. I was so, so excited. My first five star mule deer ever. And, you know, these guys just look so incredible in this game. Huge, huge frames. Seriously impressive looking deer. And this was just a monster, monster buck in an insane herd. And I was basically hoping that those two four stars had the potential to grow up to be as big as this guy. And well, yeah, that did actually end up happening and a lot more. Honestly, last night was so crazy. I didn't really have any words to describe what was actually going on. Things were just happening so fast and it was just absolutely insane but i just wanted to start off like i said just to give you guys an, a sort of reminder of what happened in the last video because it heavily ties in to most of this video now once again i returned to the same spot keeping an eye on this mule deer herd and as you will see i'm just spotting the individuals from this herd again as they come down into this little I don't really know what to call it. It's almost like a dip in the terrain where there's a little bit of water and a lot of deer like to hang out here as well as the, as a pack of wolves. And it's just a real amazing hotspot. But there you can see spotting my second five star mature mule deer in this spot from the same herd. And I do believe this is one of those four stars that actually grew up to be a five star, which is just absolutely incredible to see that happen again, but with a different species. Because, of course, I saw that happen with the fallow deer over on Transylvania. But this is the first time on this map that I've actually seen an animal go from four stars to five stars. And I was so, so excited that it had actually happened. And it meant that, you know, the long drive over to this spot was worth it once again. So, of course, we are going to end up taking this guy out. Now, this particular buck I found sort of before all of the rest of the animals in this video. This was like the one night and then the rest of them were the next day but still the same day technically if that makes sense but I'd had a, a break in between but this was basically what kick-started everything so you can see there's a couple of other four stars in this group now as well but this five star is of course the one that we're going to take and we're going to leave the other ones for later now the 7mm I was pretty confident would do a good job at that angle I have had no problems with the 7mm 08 I've heard a few people say that it's bugged but I personally have had no problem with it at all and it's been a main loadout gun for me until basically the last couple of days um, when I upgraded to the 308. But this is a, a really, really good gun if you're looking for something that's just a little bit more powerful than the 243 and is going to be a bit better at taking out things like deer. So yeah, just wanted to mention that I've had no problems with this particular gun. And as you'll see, this buck didn't go very far before he dropped. And I could see there it was good blood. You know, obviously not going that far. I was pretty confident that it would have been a good lung shot. But just a huge looking buck. Sad about the antler clipping into the ground, but not a lot I can do about that. But yeah, you can see here from the bullet cam, just a nice clean through the lung shot there. It was heavily quartering away, but still managed to actually put that shot into him. And like I said, the 7mm 08 performing absolutely perfectly as it has done for me the whole time. But taking a look at this guy, he is a mature 95.18% on the genetics. And of course, he is a five star. Absolutely awesome. I was so, so thrilled to actually harvest this buck. And I really wasn't expecting those, those four stars to become five stars. 
I was just kind of hoping and crossing my fingers. And I always, when I see a four star mature animal now, I just leave it and keep an eye on it. If it ends up dying, it ends up dying. If it ends up living and becomes a five star, then that's ideal. But I'm not looking to put four stars in my trophy lodge anyway. So I'd rather leave them and see if they have the potential to actually grow into a beast like this. Now this one is a 482.1 scoring, so still not really close to that max score of 500. But it's just an awesome, awesome buck. And the thing that you guys may notice throughout this video is all these mules here have very, very similar antlers, but they are all slightly different. And that is something I really wanted to emphasize in this video, is take a close look, and when we go into the trophy lodge at the end of the video, hopefully it'll be even clearer to see. But just keep an eye on the antlers because they are all just subtly different but very similar. Which when I'm harvesting animals, you know, mostly from the same herd if not from the same area, then in my head it does make sense that they all look similar just with slight differences because in my head they're gonna be genetic relatives. I know that's probably not how it works but when you're pulling them out of the same herd it is like finding the original sort of buck from the herd and then following it with the offspring and seeing if they turn into a similar size animal as the the big one that you've originally found in that area so i hope that makes some sense but you can just see here as well we have some white tail and you could just see this area is just full of life i have had two mule deer herds and two white tail herds in this area at the same time now this was the individual that i was looking for though that is a four star white tail and he's going to be important later in the video so i just wanted to show this clip because this is when i found that that five star mule deer right there but there was a four star white tail there as well and i just wanted to sort of highlight that he was also at this lake at that time now i quickly went back to the jeep and got a better caliber because at, at the time i only had the shotgun and the 300 on me as i had just been hunting moose so went and got the 7mm and as you will see once again beautiful beautiful job from the 7mm 08 put this guy down really really quickly absolutely gorgeous puck once again just incredible how big these things look in game they are seriously seriously impressive now the fact that this guy only went a few steps before stumbling over made me think that I may have got a heart shot and through the damage there I did apparently actually sort of damage the heart which is what brought him down extra quickly but once again you can see no trouble at all with this gun doing a perfect perfect job and just another gigantic mule deer. I mean you can see the spread of the antlers in that screen. And this one has an even higher percentage on the genetics, 98.17% genetics. Another five star mature from this same lake. Well, I say same lake, same body of water, pond, whatever you want to call it, from this same exact spot, same herd, three five star matures, which I couldn't believe, honestly. And when this happened last night, I was like, okay, this is getting a bit crazy now. This is getting kind of insane. Now, interesting to me that he has a higher percentage on the genetics, but a lower score of 464, which again makes me question how those genetic, that genetic percentage works, what exactly it means, because it doesn't seem to be directly correlating to score. It's not like if you get a, a 99% percent genetics you're not looking at a 490 plus scoring animal so i am intrigued by that but again i don't really mind it's a five star i'm not going to complain about the score he's going straight to the lodge an absolutely incredible buck now also in last in the last video towards the start of the video i showed off a group of mule deer that i found also next to a herd of whitetail by a bridge not far from the lodge for the diamond drill area and i saw a couple of bucks in there that i said i thought had some potential i culled a couple of smaller ones and left the bigger ones whilst i was actually in the jeep driving on my way to the spot where we just shot those other mule deer I see a five star mule deer go running. So I was literally on my way to go and see if any of those four stars that we saw in the previous clip had become a five star. 
and the five star runs out in front of me on my way to that spot. This was just absolutely crazy. So already in one night I had had two five star mule deer and you know only a few hours before like I say technically the same day but some hours before because I'd had a break in between I had had that second five star from that spot. So now within 24 hours I'd had three five star mule deer and I was like this is insane this is insane no one's gonna believe me that I'm getting this many five stars in this area because it's just crazy I have to express finding five star animals in this game is not easy you can go and look for hours and hours and hours and hours and not see any Okay, because I know this video is going to make it look like five stars are everywhere. They're, they're not. And I know that there's people that can back me up on that. But, you know, this was just insane. And I picked this guy up and he's got the highest percentage I've ever seen of 99.96% on the genetics. Holy, this is a, a big buck. And I was thinking, oh, he could be really, hopefully, high scoring is what I was thinking. Because, you know, the higher scoring ones I've seen do seem to have the higher genetics. But then, as we just saw with the last buck, it doesn't always correlate. And then I see the score on this guy. It's only 469.9. Which is crazy, considering it had that high of a percentage on the genetics. Absolutely crazy. Now, later on, I went back to that same little lake where I had shot the other five-star mule deer... And, uh, yeah, I ended up shooting another one. Now, I have to say, I had been recording for seven hours straight. I ended up doing ten hours worth of recording last night. Um, I did seven hours and then three hours. And, unfortunately, the actual clip of me shooting this particular buck got lost somewhere amongst all of that footage. So I really do apologise for that. But you can see the, the shot there and the harvest screen. And this buck is actually really unique. He's got a very clean frame, which when we actually take a look at him in the lodge, you'll be able to see very clearly. Now, thankfully, this was actually the sort of the, uh, the smallest in terms of genetic percent. And he wasn't a very big buck overall you can see 90.31 percent on the genetics again i want to know what that means exactly if it's fitness i do wonder if that's supposed to be fitness and you know the higher the fitness you know you could potentially get bigger animals but again it doesn't seem to always correlate so interesting to see eventually what that ends up meaning but this guy is a, a 464.9 so thankfully he wasn't the biggest out of all of the the mule deer i ended up shooting and i really do apologize about that clip getting lost somewhere i searched for it for ages and unfortunately i couldn't find it but you got to see the other mule deer getting shot and then you can see that that one was also part of that insane few hours now, remember when I said that, you know, when we were taking a look at one of the five-star mule deer and I zoomed in and said there's a four-star mature whitetail at this lake that I'm keeping an eye on too? Yeah, there he is. He's a five-star now. <laughs> From the same lake, four four-star mature mule deer and a five-star mature whitetail. In the span of... Well, I shot the, the initial five-star mule deer, I think, like, two days ago, day and a half ago. So, yeah, in not very long, <laughs> this spot has just produced, produced, produced. Now, that herd sort of went behind the terrain there, and I couldn't really see where the big buck had gone. So, I just sort of hung tight, waiting to see where they would come out. And I could see the five-star there walking, and I was like, okay, I can get that shot. And sure enough, managed to actually put a vital hit on him there. You will have seen the big patch of blood. And I could just keep an eye on him as he was running here, going up through these trees, keeping up with the rest of the herd. He is definitely stumbling. He slows down and he lies down there. So managed to mark him there to go straight over to go and find him. And here he is, a huge five-star whitetail just incredible and again i am sat there you know talking to to friends and, and messaging a, a couple of people that have also been playing this game a lot sort of alongside while i have and i was going there's no way that people are going to believe this 
people are going to think that I'm doing something dodgy because there's so many five stars. And it got to the point where I was sat there like, could could these not have been spread out across a couple of days? Because you just know when something like this happens that there's always going to be those comments that say you're you're cheating somehow. And it's like, I'm not, I promise. This just completely blew my mind and I hope that that comes across because I was in complete and utter shock last night. It was just like five star and then another five star and then another five star and I was like, oh my gosh. And here you can see this absolutely gigantic white tail, five star mature, 94.21% on the genetics there. Just a giant. Now he has a very similar rack to the first five star white tail I shot, but there are some subtle differences. This guy scores a 478. So again, still not towards that top end of the score. And I have seen other sort of rack shapes for the five star white tail, and I'm hoping that I can get at least one of those to put alongside these guys and try and have more variety with the different five star racks but that is the thing is that none of the five stars i've shot so far look exactly the same and that's really really cool the system for sort of randomizing the colors of the antlers the tines everything it's working really well you'll get similar frames but different sort of subtle differences and to me that's cool because you'll see certain things that you really like about one that maybe another one doesn't have and i just think it's really cool to see those differences but yeah another just awesome awesome buck from this spot is absolutely incredible and at the end of the video i will show the location as well so that you guys can go here on your own maps and check it out and it is in the diamond drill area in the bottom right corner of the map. Now, completely unrelated to the deer and that one particular spot, I decided I was going to go do some missions just for fun. And I get to this lake, you can see my mission was to harvest a moose without a scope. I knew that this little lake was normally quite good for moose. I come here, and what do I spot? A five star mature duck. And... I just at this point I said okay what my game is broken my game is broken there has to be something wrong because this is insane just how many of these high quality animals I'm getting now I do have the shotgun here from the, uh, the hunters pack and it's a beautiful beautiful shotgun and managed to actually flush this duck and then get him on the first shot he took a little bit of finding in the water afterwards but did eventually actually manage to find him. Call of the Wild Habits there, looking up at the sky before claiming something. I always forget that I don't need to do that in this game. Now, I would have ideally liked that shot to be placed further forward, but as you can see, just the sheer amount of pellets just completely wiped this poor five-star duck out. And yeah, just completely annihilated it. But here you can see five-star mature wild duck, which it's, it, it's a mallard. 90.88% um, on the genetic percent there. Just a really, really cool trophy. This is actually my first small game trophy, so I was really happy with this. It's a shame that the ducks look a bit weird in this screen in particular. They don't look as bad actually as they're walking around or in the trophy lodge. This screen, they just kind of look like their heads are a bit weird. But overall, I was still super, super happy. You know, like I said, first five star for this species in the first five star of any of the small game so that was really cool and to be able to take it with that gorgeous gorgeous shotgun really happy with that 470 score on this guy again not really too too far towards that top end that they can get again 500 is the max score for every animal in this game but still a beast and sent straight to the trophy lodge now just to take a little bit of a break from Nez Perce Valley I decided I'd head over to Transylvania and I was actually parked up at the zone for the old five star fallow buck that I had in a previous video um, just before the early access ended. This was the location where his herd used to actually come and spend a lot of time and I knew that you know the time that they'd be here and stuff and I had my jeep still parked on the side of this hill from checking on what was the you know what was left of his herd after I took that five star because there was a three star mature and a couple of other nice bucks in this herd and I spawn in I see the herd I think oh okay I'll go and check on them see the huge buck walking along spot it and it's a five star mature 
what <laughs> on earth is happening like i said the first clip at the start of the of this video of that five star mule deer was just a refresher from the last video i posted all about that five star mule deer and his herd and you know managing mule deer in the area then the second clip of the second mule deer from that spot happened a few hours before the rest of this and then all the rest of these clips of the other three five star mule deer the five star whitetail the five star duck and the five star fallow deer all happened within the recording session that i had last night last night and even though like i said i recorded for seven hours and then for three hours even still to get that amount of five stars was blowing my mind like it wasn't it i don't know how to explain it like i'm almost speechless it was just so mad that this was happening and like i said to switch over to transylvania and be looking at the the herd of that beautiful old buck that i took out in a, you know a couple of videos ago and there for to be another five star there it was just like my game is broken my game is broken this is just insane and uh, i just honestly couldn't be more in shock and in and genuinely more surprised and you know i was actually talking to to flinter about this because i was like am i doing something wrong like this feels weird to be getting this many five stars and as we were talking about it he made a very good point which is you know animals do die off in this game once they're at their peak you know sort of being a five star they could die off at any time even if they're a four star obviously they could die off at any time but once you know you have a five star animal it's like ticking time bomb so to get all of these animals at the right time to find them at the right time i probably should have bought a lottery ticket last night because the luck was just incredible and the fact that like i said it wasn't even just on the one map i came over to transylvania and there was another five star waiting like that is just absolutely insane and i hope that you know it comes across because i'm still absolutely baffled by the fact that this happened and i couldn't wait to make this video today and i'm so gutted that i lost that clip of shooting the one mule deer thankfully this game does save the like the harvest screens and the bullet cam so at least that was a bit of a saving grace but just take a look at this wall in my trophy lodge now all of these mule deer from the one region like four of them are from the same herd four of them from the same herd and then one from a slight bit away from where i shot the other ones but still in the same region and was actually shot on the way to going to check on the rest of the other herd i just can't i can't explain how crazy this is now as we go through here and take a look at all of these bucks hopefully you'll be able to see what i mean about slight differences in the racks this is the one that unfortunately i lost the clip of me shooting and you can see how very straight his tines are especially the the tines at the back whereas some of these other bucks have a bit more sort of bend and curve to them i think it's really really cool like just the very sort of fine differences that if if you actually spend time looking at them you'll see and there is size difference there is i think a little bit of mass difference between some of them as well and i think that's really really cool you know not every five star is going to look exactly the same as the last and that just makes me want to keep going and it makes me excited that if you know maybe one day i could get maybe maybe this will be the game where i eventually could get like a super rare like a five star mature rare i think that would be like the equivalent of a super rare in call of the wild or classic or you know one of the other hunting games and just maybe 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 if i can keep up with my mule deer luck maybe it'll be a super rare mule deer or something i don't know but that would be so cool but in the meantime i'm happy to fill my lodge with these five stars because they look incredible now here is my five star mallard and like i said they look pretty good in the trophy lodge i just think their neck might be a little bit weird or a little bit too long something about it looks a little bit off to me the feathers look beautiful the detail is beautiful it would be nice if there were some more poses for the small game because i think there's only like five poses in total for the ducks the pheasants and the geese so i'd like to see some more poses for them but other than that he looks really nice on that plaque in the trophy lodge and then i have my two five star white tail up here together and like i said they're pretty much like the same frame for the rack 
but the times especially at the back are a little bit different that very sort of time that if you're looking from the side the one that you can see at the very back is sort of different differently angled on both racks it's very hard to to see i think and actually explain so hopefully you guys can see what i mean but this time there that i was just taking a look at it's just slightly slightly different and like i said i think that's really cool and i'm hoping that i can get the sort of other looking frame for the for the five star whitetail because there's one that looks a bit different um it's t the tines on it are all a little bit more even looking this one looks a bit spikier for a better term so it'd be nice to get the other one and have a bit of a comparison but these are two monster monster bucks and i'm so thrilled to have them here in the trophy lodge like these are just beautiful 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 animals so so fortunate to have harvested all of the animals in this video and to have it just happen the way it happened i just can't i'm so just awestruck and amazed that it all happened the way it did and then of course hopping back over to transylvania so that we can take a look at the new fallow deer i got in the lodge and compare him to the old one so this is the old one that i shot in a different video and then this is the one that we shot in today's video. Now, once again, there are differences between the racks on these. The most noticeable difference is that this guy has a sort of tighter rack. It's a bit more square shaped. Whereas the other five star buck has a much wider rack than this one. And, you know, the, t the, uh, the spellers are pretty much the same. But even seeing the difference in the width is quite cool to me now you can see here probably this one looks wider much much wider actually when you look at him from the front compared to the other one at least to me again this is something that's quite hard to i think uh, actually show off in a video but this one looks a lot more square to me so again there is differences now i do hope in future to see more differences maybe you know different uh speller patterns and stuff for, for the for the fallow deer and you know just a few more differences but even still i'm happy to keep going and putting these in my lodge because they just do look so incredible you know if i find five star fallow deer and they look like this i'm happy to find them they are absolutely gorgeous now i did say at the end of the video i would show you guys the location where i have been shooting most of those five star mule deer now as i mentioned it is in the very bottom right corner of the map in the diamond drill area if you are looking to buy the pass here's the main lodge for the area if you want to go and do the missions it does appear that you have to do three missions per uh like per cabin or per cabin owner to actually get access to the private land so if you want to you can just go to this cabin do his missions and then you'll have access to it or like i said you can just buy the pass outright but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you so so much for watching it was absolutely insane to record like i said i recorded for about 10 hours last night in total and i'm so gutted like i said that that one mule deer clip got lost but when you've got that much footage unfortunately sometimes things do go wrong and that was one of them but hopefully it's still you know hopefully everything still shows what an incredible night of hunting last night was and also you know the the extra buck just shortly before that as well just absolutely incredible thank you guys so so much for watching and for all your support as always and i will see you guys in the next video thank you